everyone welcome back to study with manjula and i am your friend manjula sri so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to new videos to be uploaded in your device so i am with the representation of geographical features part 2 in part 1 we have learned about globe and the map and even some of the features which are represented on the map in that representing on the map the features in that we have uh, learned the word scale now today i am with the topic scale what is a scale actually in our daily life scale is nothing but a ruler but in our geography what is a scale scale is nothing but which shows the difference between the ground distance and the map distance ground distance to the map distance before knowing how to measure the map distance to the ground distance we should know some of the units and measurements so the india uses a system to measure each and every object that is metric system okay so here these are the units of measuring the length distance measuring the distance these are the units we use the main units we use these three that is the kilometer which is shown as km and the meter which is shown as m and centimeter which is shown as cm okay so these are the three main metric system measurements for distance so what is the relationship between these three uh, measurements are i have written here 1 km km means 1 km is 1000 meters 1 km is equal to 1000 meters and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so then 1 km is equal to how many cm i have uh, for that you should use a logic okay if 1 meter is equal to 100 cm then 1 km is equal to how many cm you should understand because 1 km is equal to 1000 meters then if you multiply this 100 to this 1000 then you will get the perfect answer how you will get that answer i have explained in other video that is given in the description about the mathematics which we are going to use in this subject i have made another video you can see in the description okay so this is the answer you have got that is 1 lakh cm 1 km is equal to 1 lakh cm next comes 1 cm is equal to 10 mm what is this mm millimeter actually this is not set in this metric system here i have not written but for your more knowledge i have written here millimeter we know what is a millimeter weight right so what is the relation between the millimeter again with this kilometer meter and centimeter is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm then 1 meter is equal to how many mm i mean how many millimeter in the same way how we have multiplied this 100 to 1000 we should multiply this 10 into 100 okay then we'll get 1000 then 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm then 1 km is equal to how many mm actually we got the answer 1 km is equal to 1 lakh cm then we should multiply this 10 to this 1 lakh so that you will get 10 lakhs mm 1 km is equal to 10 lakhs mm so this is the relation okay okay so these are the three types of methods from which we will find the distance on the map to the ground so before learning about these distance first we should know what is a ground distance and the map distance okay what is a ground actually ground distance in the ground distance we find the word ground so what is a ground ground means what land area right so then what is a map distance in the map distance we find the word map right so this what is how much is the ground distance means suppose if you take an area on the map if you take like if you take visakhapatnam okay if you take visakhapatnam and on the map if it is a so some of the distance like 2 cm 1 cm or even 3 cm or any 1 mm 
we should imagine okay if uh, it is based on the size of the map okay then what is the ground distance is if really the vishakhapatnam how much distance it is like that if we measure we will compare the distances this is known as the relation between ground distance and the map distance now we are going to learn the first method of measuring the scale of ground distance to the map distance that is bias statement how we measure bias statement we should know then the maths ko hai ha okay friends so this is bias statement i have written this is the statement 1 cm is equal to 2 km now is what is this symbol okay now and how it pronounces 1 cm is 2 is 2 2 km this is new for you right so this is known as a ratio i have made even uh, i have said the video i have made for the math maths for the measurement right in that video only i have said about this ratio even first you should see that video then you will understand this measurements here okay because this ratio is not introduced till in the sixth class okay of course if it's introduced it's in 6th um, or 7th chapter but this is the first chapter of geography right so till then you will be not able to understand if you know the ratio about the ratio well and good if you are confused with the ratio i have and the metric system i have made another video which is given in the description please see the video first then see this video so that you will understand okay now let us go 1 cm is 2 2 km what is this 1 cm represents is map distance 2 km represents the ground distance okay 1 cm cm is the sm smallest unit compared to kilometer actually smallest unit is on the unit but compared to kilometer cm is smaller unit right so this cm represents the map distance 2 km represent the ground distance so if we take a place on a map if it is compared in one cent, if it, the place measures 1 cm then really that place on the ground represents 2 km okay this is the statement you will pronounce it 1 cm is to 2 km if 1 cm on the map then on the land it will be 2 km okay now let's go to the next one that is by a numerical fraction so okay friends this is the second method of measuring the map distance to the ground distance that is by a numerical fraction in the numerical fraction we also got the name that is 1 is to 1 lakh this comes under the statement then how it gets into the ratio so this numerical fraction is also known as representative fraction which is represented by the symbol r f okay so there is a logic to the ratio that is this ratio is also written in a fraction form that <coughs> the number which is left side to the symbol will be written as the numerator and the number which is right side to the symbol then it is written as denominator okay so this numerator 1 this numerator 1 represents the map distance this denominator 1 lakh represents the ground distance okay so this by a numerical fraction and also by a statement that method these two methods are similar to each other okay now let's go to the third one that is by a graphical scale this should be very careful okay you should listen this graphical or linear scale very carefully okay so this is the third method of by a graphic or linear scale i have said by a linear scale but this linear scale is also known as graphic scale also okay 
by graphic or linear scale okay so this is the scale i have drawn here so these are the smaller ones and these are the larger ones but these are the smaller ones we could can't say why because this larger ones are divided into the smaller ones so this you can see this large parts right so those are known as primary division this is known as primary divisions these smaller ones are known as secondary division okay so this is the secondary division these are the primary divisions okay so i have written the numbers here see this block whole represents the 1 this is the 2 3 4 5 here from the 0 it starts that is 5 10 15 so each block is measured of 12 to 20 centimeters 12 to 20 centimeters so this this scale is used to measure only the map distance of straight lines you want this map is used to measure the straight lines on the map okay so this is the graphic or linear scale okay friends so with this we have completed about the scale so today i want to show some of the conventional signs and symbols in the next video i will explain about those conventional signs and symbols and other directions and all okay so here are the some of the conventional signs and symbols which are given in your book you can see right so the first one is the boundaries. See, on the map, we can't draw whole things. We can't write everything, no? That this is this forest, this is uh, this bridge, this is a uh, boundary. We can't write. So, those are, for that short form, we are going to use this conventional signs and symbols. Okay. So, the first one are boundaries. In the boundaries, we have three types. One is international, other one is state and other one is district. What is international boundary? From country to country, what is the boundary? That is international. State boundary is from state to state like Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and Rajasthan to Gujarat. Like that, what are the boundaries? Those are known as state boundaries. Next come the districts. District boundaries shows like um, Vishakhapatnam to Vijayanagaram. What is the boundary? like that it will show the district boundaries okay so the international boundaries are drawn see one long line and the one shorter ones one long ones other one is the shorter ones one long ones shorter ones that is the international boundary so next comes the state state you can see a line a dot a small line a dot so that is the state boundary and the district shows the straight lines even. Small, small, small lines. Not dotted, okay? Only lines. So, whatever the colors I have used, uh, it should not be a rule that you have to use the same colors. Sometimes you can use the black even. On the map, they will show in, in the black color, okay? Next comes the roads. You can see the roads, metalled and unmetalled. What are metalled and unmetalled are? Metalled means the plain road okay the plain road like on the highway you can see unmetal roads roads are in the villages you can see with the mud with the stones you can find the roads so those are known as unmetal roads so the metal roads are shown with the two straight lines which are parallel to each other next one shows unmetal roads the dotted lines even those are also parallel to each other so that is the metal and unmetal two types of roads next comes Towns and villages, which shows the cities and even the residents even in this symbol. Okay. Next gives the bridge. Bridge like Howrah Bridge we know. And uh, many bridges are there. Okay. 
so the bridges are shown in this symbol okay next comes the streams streams are nothing but like rivers and uh, rivers maybe the rivers streams lakes so these three are shown in this symbol in any line actually they have given the symbol like that but you can draw in any, which direction it's flowing in that direction you should draw next comes the dam many dams we know like a tarpudi dam megadri dam in and mysore there are many dams like that okay so these dams are shown in this symbol next comes wells and tanks wells are nothing but you will have this well not your good and well not that well the water storage from the uh, ground we will get the water so that is known as the well and the tanks so those are shown in these symbols next comes the railway railway are nothing but the railway track how it is in the it will show in this symbol next comes the fort forts like red fort you know and taj mahal is also a fort so that forts are shown in this symbol next comes the temple church and mosque so these are shown in this symbol next comes grass and shrubs like a dotted green color shrubs what are grass and shrubs are Mm, there is a difference between grass and shrubs and uh, forests forests they have a particular name and all but this grass and shrubs you can find while going to village area there you can find many trees many uh, unwanted wastes of trees will be there so those are known as the grass and shrubs next comes the words that are post office which is written in the letter p o next comes the telegraph office which is written in po next comes the police station which is written in the letters ps so these are some of the conventional signs and symbols okay now you can see if you want to copy it you you can copy or otherwise if it's there in your textbook no need okay so till this we have completed the part 2 in the part 3 we are going to learn the other ones so uh, please check the mathematics video what i have made for the convent for this scale and it is also useful for your maths till then stay home stay safe and stay thank you thank you